Hey everybody, welcome back to today's Ask Lewis segment. Today, I think Serafina might have some questions lined up for us, so what would you like to know? I have a very good question that it confuses me and I think it confuses a lot of people because I talk to other people about it and they're like, yeah, I get confused by that too. So, lube, ch like lubing your chain. Mm. What kind of lube do you put on? How often do you put it on? Do you need to put it on? And also, like, I get confused when I'm doing it. Do I put it on the top or do I put it on the bottom part here? And do I have to wipe it off or don't I have to wipe it off? I don't know. Great question, Serafina. I get that question almost every day in here at the bike shop. Chain lube is such an important part of the bike. Really, when we're looking at it, we have male links and we have female links that are both made of metal. They're rubbing against each other every time they bend around the chain ring or they bend around the jockey wheels or they bend around the cassette. It's metal rubbing up against metal so if we pedal along a really dry chain like this one I don't know if you can hear but it's making a squeaking noise that's the sound of metal rubbing against metal so what we want to do is put some chain lubricant on there Serafina's second or third question was where do I put it chain lube gets put on to just the chain I have people ask me all the time do I need to put it on the chain do I need to put it on the chain rings and the jockey wheels and the cassette and and the drive train as a whole short answer is no just put it on the chain and it will find its way to wherever else wherever else it needs to go it's literally chain lube for your chain so the chain is the only part that's actually bending there, which is metal rubbing up against metal. Like I said, it will find its way to where it needs to go. Another question that she asked was, what type of chain lube do you run? The ones that I tend to, to hold in stock here are a wet lubricant and a dry lubricant. The easiest way to remember which one you need to do is whether you're riding in wet weather or whether you're riding in dry weather weather, weather, all the different ways you can spell weather. Wet weather, dry weather. I find dry lube is a better performing lube, but it doesn't last as long. Wet lube is a little bit thinner and it just lasts a whole lot longer. If you're riding in the wet weather, it doesn't just get rinsed off, whereas the dry lube would. Typically speaking with a dry lubricant, I would say it lasts, one application will last maybe 150 kilometers, give or take, whereas wet lubricant might last closer to 400 kilometers. So it lasts a whole lot longer, but it gets a whole lot dirtier as well. Whenever you look at someone's bike and the chain is black and all the chain rings are black and everything's covered in grease, it's probably because they use wet lubricant or they just over lube it. I was saying you want to do it every sort of 400 kilometers for the, for the wet lube. They might be doing it every couple of rides, which is too much. For this bike, given the fact that this is a triathlon bike, I know that there's a race coming up soon that this person is riding on, so I know that they're gonna want the dry lubricant. So I'll put some on for you now and I'll show you how I do it. We were talking about where to put it before. Serafina was saying, do I put it on the top? Do I put it on the bottom? What do I do? I, I like to put it on the bottom and my reason for putting it on the bottom is because I feel like then it touches the chain ring on the inside and it touches the cassette on the inside. If I was to put it on the top, it's on the outside and it's not touching all the other parts. So um, that's my answer. I, I, I put it on the bottom, I suppose. The way that I like to do it, and you can do this however you want, put the bike up against the wall or in a work stand if you have it. Make sure that the pedals can spin freely backwards as in they're not gonna bump into the wall or anything like that. And then I hold my fist up against the derailleur with the bottle upside down. And all I'm doing is getting one full revolution of the chain. So it's um, as simple as holding it on like this. Can you hear that? The squeak is gone just simply by putting chain lubricant on. And now hopefully the chain will last even longer. So I'm a, I'm an advocate for chain lube. If you've ever sat down at a coffee shop with me, you've probably heard me in my head say to a cyclist as they ride past, you need chain lube. It's one of those things that you can hear across the road sometimes. A lot of the time if people are commuting, they don't really think about it too much, and then they go to the bike shop, and the bike shop says, you need a new chain. Oh, but I only put a new chain on six months ago. Yes, but you forgot to put chain lubricant on it. So you'll wear through it a whole lot faster. So chain lube is good because it keeps it quiet. So when there's a bike mechanic sitting at a coffee shop, you're not upsetting him, but also it will help prolong the life of the chain. So your chain will last longer, you'll save money, 
and you're doing a little bit of your own bike maintenance. So chain lube is incredibly important. Again, I'm not saying that dry lube is better than wet lube or wet lube is better than dry lube, but I'm saying I do most of my riding in the dry weather. I don't like riding in the rain, so I don't use the wet lube as much. That's the short answer. But then the long answer is you can talk about wax. Wax could be a whole nother topic in itself. And for that reason, I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm gonna send you over to Zero Friction Cycling and you can talk to Adam Kieran over there. He's a, a good friend of the shop and he can tell you everything and more about waxing your chain. I've heard a lot of positive reviews. I haven't done it yet because I am what they call lazy and I don't think ahead for my chain. I just wake up in the morning and say, yeah, I'm gonna go for a ride. I'm gonna quickly put some chain lube on. With the wax, you have to think ahead as in, you know, maybe day, days and weeks ahead. So I'm a little bit too lazy for that. So that's why I use just normal chain lube. It's nice and easy to use. I hope that answers your question, Serafina. I went on for a little while talking about it. It's a, a hot topic that I love, but yeah, thanks for asking. That's perfect, because <laughs> I yeah, I've always wondered about that and there's just so many variables to it. And actually it's good that you mentioned the, the waxing because I've heard a lot about that and that it's really good for protecting your chain and mm. especially um in wet weather and mm. especially I think for mountain bikers and stuff like yes. that who are doing yes. lots of goody stuff like having the wax is really good. So yes. um, obviously we can learn more yes. about that from and really clean. Yeah. That's that's one of the big things about it that it's really clean. Okay. Yeah. So I I fully understand that wax is good. I'm just too lazy to do it properly. Yeah, I don't think about my own bike enough. So <laughs> you've got to put it in a pot or something, don't you? With you've, the hot pot? you've got to heat it up, and you've got to. It's like candle wax, and if I pedal it in the work stand, there's dandruff falling off of it here because it's candle wax. Um, go over to Zero Friction, watch Adam's videos. He'll explain it all in immense detail, and and you'll 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 learn. You'll think you can build a rocket ship after watching one of those videos. You'll learn so much. Yeah. Just one other quick thing. For sure. Do you wipe it off afterwards? When you've lubed it, you put just the regular lube on, do you wipe it off afterwards or? I think you could ask different mechanics that and I think you'd get a 50-50 split of people that say yes and people that say no. I don't bother because I don't completely coat it. As you saw when I applied it before, I just put one full revolution of the chain. Some people might put more than one full revolution. They might just keep going and keep going. Then yes, you're over lubricating it. If we were to, again, if we were to zoom in on what the chain looks like, I suppose we've got the top and the bottom, and then we've got the sides. You want it to be on the top and the bottom, because then it's gonna soak into those male and female links I was talking about. On the sides, it doesn't really matter there. So really, if there's extra on the sides, you could wipe it off of the sides. I don't think that um, yes or no is the correct answer for that. I think it's just, if it looks like it's been over lubricated, yes. If not, no. So I don't really, that's a bad answer, but that's my answer. I don't answer. like it, because like, I'm like, you know, hey, yeah. oh, if I don't, is that going to cause problems? Or if I do, is that going to cause problems? So now it's like, oh, it doesn't really matter. No and no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> awesome, all right. Awesome. I reckon that sums yeah. it up for today. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. See ya.